Hello everyone and welcome. Today's video is going to be quite a bit different from the other content that I typically post on this channel. Uh, this, for those of you who are new to the channel, this channel is normally about uh, game development, game engine programming, things of that nature. But today we're going to be doing something a lot different. So uh, one of the goals that I had set up for my game engine project was to have the ability to have it ported to various different platforms. And right out the gate, we supported Linux and Windows. And I said at some point that we are going to be supporting Mac, but I had not actually obtained a machine to do so until today. So today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new MacBook Pro that I've purchased uh, to use uh, for that purpose of porting the game engine to uh, the Mac platform. So uh, I figured uh, since this is a machine that was mostly paid for by um, ad revenue and uh, the supporters of the channel, this is me reinvesting uh, this back into the channel. And, uh, you know, as a result, I, I figured it might be kind of a neat thing to, to go ahead and do an unboxing. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into that real quick and have a look. So uh, I did uh, already rip off, open this thing just to make sure that the thing was already in there, but I haven't actually um, unboxed it any further than that. So I did open up um, just this outer packaging here, but uh, that's just the, the FedEx box. So there's nothing really to see there. So what we are looking at here, and I'll put it a little closer to the screen there so you guys can see that, is this is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, it has 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, I have the M1 Max uh, chip in it. And I did that simply because I wanted to have a machine that was gonna last me a long time, uh, that was relatively future-proofed and that I wouldn't have to be uh, worrying about replacing in a couple of years. So um, that is uh, the model that we're looking at here. Um, and I did go ahead and get it, uh, not in the silver, but the, uh, the space gray, I think it was called. Um, and so uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, cut open the box here. So uh, actually it looks like they've provided a little tab here for me to open this with. So I'll just use that instead of a, a blade and peel back this plastic. Okay. And we'll go ahead and pop this open. I'll leave this facing you guys so that you can see it. So I'm just gonna lift off the cover here. And there we are, just set that aside. And it looks like uh, we have uh, the machine here that's encased in this sort of plastic layer here. So I'll go ahead and pop this out of the box real quick. So this, uh, this is actually uh, a little bit heavier than I, I guess I was anticipating, but uh, I, I'm not too surprised, I guess, because it is the 16 inch, but um, it is a little bit uh, hefty. You know, it feels, feels well made at least. Go ahead and take off all of that plastic packaging. And so here's what that looks like. This is the space gray. I may uh, take some additional shots of this uh, with some different lighting so you guys can see what that looks like a little bit better. There's the bottom of the machine. So it's a pretty nice looking machine. Now, before I open this up, let's just finish off with this box here. There's a couple more components. So we have the power cable here. So that's nicely wrapped up. And we can just take this cable out of that. And this has the MagSafe cable, which those are super, super nice. So very happy with that. 
get this out of here. Got one more to get rid of here. And there we are. All right. So it's just the MagSafe port on one end and USB-C on the other end. So technically we could use um, any USB-C charger to charge this, although it probably won't be as quick as um, whatever they have provided us. So it's, it's also a pretty decent length. Um, I would say that's probably a, at least, a, eh, probably about a six foot cable. So it's, you know, it's got some decent length to it, which is good. Short power cables are always annoying. And then here we have a, a little booklet. It uh, just says, designed by Apple in California. Uh, I'm assuming this is probably like warranty information or the literature that comes with it. So we've got a little pamphlet here. It says MacBook Pro on it. And then it's just a little bit of information about the machine itself. And let's see what else have we got in here. So it looks like there's a... What is this? Uh, essentials guide, safety and handling, all sort of safety notices, things like that. Uh, what else have we got in here? Well, it looks like we've got some Apple stickers, so that's that's interesting. Um, for those of you who are wondering, I've I've never actually um, purchased or um, or really owned a Mac before, so this is all completely new to me. Um, I've always been a PC guy um, up until. About two years ago, uh, I was predominantly a Windows guy until I finally got fed up with that and uh, and moved over to Linux. And I've been uh, happily on Linux ever since. So uh, I think that is actually everything that's in here. I think this is just padding in there. So that's everything that was in that envelope. So I'll just set that aside. And next we have the power brick in here. So this one is actually uh, quite a bit bigger than ones that I've seen before. So let's just get this paper off of here without completely mangling it, which I've already ripped it, but that's fine. Okay. So here is the power brick for that. So it's got this little folding out bit there. I assume this thing here probably pops off so that you can get uh, different adapters if you're outside of the US or whatever. This is probably gonna look different for you. So that's that. And then it has the USB-C right there on the other side. Uh, and of course the Apple logo is on both sides. So that is that. And that is the box empty, right? Nothing else in there. So um, I do have to say the packaging of this is really nice. Um, that's one thing that's always um, kind of been nice about Apple products is the packaging has always been uh, been pretty nice. You know, back in the day when whenever I bought uh, you know a phone or um, or an iPod or something like that, it's always throughout the years been pretty nice. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and jump back to this machine here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up so that we can have a look at it opened up. And we get the little sound there. And we have some protective paper there. And that is what the machine looks like. So it's a really pretty machine. Uh, it's got a huge touch pad, it's got plenty of side. Uh, space off to the sides, big speakers. Um, this looks like the same size keyboard, I think, as what actually comes in the 14 inch. I'm not 100% sure about that. But um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice looking machine. Um, I actually kind of like the fact that they got rid of the, uh, the touch bar in this one, or maybe it never had it. I'm, uh, again, I'm not sure. I'm not really a Mac guy, but um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice, uh, simple looking machine and like I said, it's it's pretty hefty, you know, it feels uh, feels pretty substantial. So um, 
All right, so basically, uh, this is just going to walk me through the uh, the setup process, which I'm not going to bore you guys with, um, because anybody that uh, obviously to is use interested. Is the main language. <laughs> Press the return key. Thank you, Apple. So uh, any of you, any of you guys that are wanting to buy one of these, obviously, will see that for yourselves when you go ahead and uh, purchase your own. So um, once again, uh, you know, this was just. Uh, something that I've been wanting to acquire for quite a while, uh, quite a while um, so that I can use this to uh, port the game engine to Mac. And yes, this machine is probably overkill for that. But again, I wanted to get something that is future-proof that I can use for years to come. And so I wanted to make sure that I got something with specs that was going to be able to handle basically anything that I throw at it. So um, this machine is that. And uh, yeah, that is uh, going to do it for this video. So uh, to all my supporters who have, um, who have gone either through uh, YouTube memberships or, or Patreon, uh, thank you very much for your support. Without your support, uh, this would not have been possible. Um, and of course, uh, as the channel continues to grow, I will continue to reinvest uh, those funds into the channel as I've done here. So um, like I said, thank you all so much for your support. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks. See ya.